If you'd like to set up certain permission levels for your internal and external users to view your schedule, you'll do that in your settings in the roles tab. Here in the roles tab, every role can have different permissions to view the job schedules that they have access to. So here, if we go to maybe our field employee, we probably only want them to view assigned tasks that are only assigned to them, or maybe to view the assigned tasks, but also the schedule groups or the phases of the project. Also, maybe for our project managers, we can go down to the schedule section and they probably should see the entire schedule, including all the tasks, even if they're not assigned to them specifically. You also have the ability to choose the level of visibility on your job schedules for your internal and external users as well. So for your customers, there may be some customers that you only want to view the tasks that are assigned to them. So I can make this customer role my default role for all my new customers to have, and I'd probably give them the most limited visibility because you can always increase visibility from there, but it's a little more difficult to remove visibility from your customers once they see a full schedule. So I'm just gonna say view only tasks that are assigned to them. We'll update that. And then also we may have our customer full schedule one where I can change a customer to this particular role. And in this case, I'm allowing them to view the entire schedule, or maybe I just want them to view their assigned tasks and the schedule groups or the schedule phases. You can also set that up for your vendor roles as well. Once you do save those roles, you can head into your members tab and you can change the roles for your customers or vendors or even your internal users in this tab. Let's scroll down to one of my customers named Zach. I just added him. Here he is, Zach Nicholas. And currently he has the customer role. So if I'd like to increase his permissions, I can change that role to viewing the schedule phases or I can change it to viewing the full schedule. Let's go back to the schedule phases here. Now, if at any point you would like to preview what that particular uh, user can see, you can click on this eyeball icon here to preview as the user. And then we'll go to the jobs. And this particular customer is on one job. And now if we go to the schedule, you'll see that this customer can now just see the schedule phases in several different views. So Gantt view, month view, etc. But they cannot see any of the tasks that are in those phases unless the tasks are assigned to them as well. Let's exit this user. And there is another way that you can also preview the schedules for those users. So let's go into the job that we have assigned them to. And now you'll see that your users are listed here on the job access list. Here's another way that you can preview this particular job as the user. So let's go into our schedule here and assign a couple of these tasks to our customers. So here we will have maybe in the pre-construction phase, collect the deposit, we should be assigning to them. And then we also have some progress invoices that we'd like to assign to them. So I'm gonna select all the tasks I'd like to assign to those customers. And then we'll go down to assignees in our mass actions drawer. And I'm going to choose both of my customers here, June and Zach, and I will apply the action. Great. So now both of them are assigned to these tasks and we can see it here. Now let's go back to our dashboard, down to the job access list. And so in this case, June can see the entire schedule and Zach can only see schedule phases and tasks that are assigned to him. So let's look at Zach's again here. We'll click on the schedule. And now if we view it in list view, you can see that Zach can not only see the schedule phases, but also the tasks that are directly assigned to them. In Gantt view, it can be a little easier to see this as well because you can see the schedule phases as well as the individual tasks that are assigned to that particular customer. And then in June's case though, if we preview as June and we look at the schedule, June is actually able to see every single task that is on the schedule in any of these views as well, in addition to the schedule phases. 
And we hope that you're finding this helpful. If you have any questions about adjusting the visibility on your schedules for your internal or external users, contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com.